Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back and we are here for another tutorial on how to connect your console to your PC through a capture card. But this time we're actually going to learn how to connect our, our consoles to our PC, but also play it on a different monitor. Now, some of you guys might have a PC or a desktop that has a second monitor and we're actually going to go ahead and have one monitor dedicated to streaming and one monitor dedicated to gaming. I'm not going to get too involved on how to connect each and every console to your capture card that you're going to need here in a second, but I will show you that this will work for all your Nintendo Switches, your, your Playstations, and your Xboxes, and any other kind of console that has an HDMI output as well as maybe uh, your cameras. So normally I would demonstrate this on a desktop PC, but today we're going to be showing it off on a laptop. That way I don't have to deal with all this clutter and I can actually just show everything on a laptop as they're basically the same thing. Now for this video, we are going to be using a capture card and I got this little guy right here that's a video capture device uh, that is USB 2.0 on one side and an HDMI on the other. And this will allow us to go ahead and capture any console we throw at it and it will record and stream up to 1080p 30fps or you could drop it down to 720 and get 60fps. So keep that in mind that this will work for any capture card that you have, your Elgato's, your Aver Media's or whatever you're using. I'm just using this little guy to uh, do this demonstration with. Now I do have links down below on uh, where to get this little capture device and it is cheap. It goes between 10 and $30. So if you have a little bit of a budget computer setup, this might be for you and it's uh, it's pretty good. It does almost anything you want. So I also made a review video on this. So you can go check that out. Uh, I'll link that, I don't know, maybe here. So another thing you're gonna need is an HDMI cable to go ahead and connect your console to your capture card. So make sure you have that on hand. It generally comes with your console. So you should have that on hand. So all you need to do is go ahead and power your console of choice, whether that's your Switch, your PS4, your Xbox One, then you're gonna need to plug in the HDMI cable. Now. Uh, hopefully your your console came with an HDMI cable, but if you didn't go ahead and pick one up and go ahead and plug it in You're gonna need to plug it in and send it to your HDMI capture card here the little USB 2.0 card now I'm gonna show you here that we're gonna go ahead and connect it But I, I didn't actually specify one thing that I connect is using and that is a extension cable that is USB So I have a USB 2.0 extension cable to go ahead and mount this to my computer but I didn't want it to sit directly into the computer itself, whereas someone might bump it or I might pull on the cable and break the port or break the capture device. I'm actually using a little extension cable so that way I can have this kind of free floating around my PC with not the, the risk of breaking this or, or you know my HDMI cable or my port. So once we uh, have that all plugged in, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug in our HDMI cable into the capture card. And so once we're set up there, you're gonna see that the, the process next is quite simple. So you're just gonna need to go ahead and take a HDMI cable or display port cable or DVI cable or whatever you're using to transmit out of your GPU to another monitor. Now, as long as you have a cable going from your graphics card to this monitor, you should be all set up. And once you plug it in, it might start off showing you a mirrored image, but you can always go to your display properties and set it to extend rather than clone. Now here we are extending the image. So I'm going to go ahead and open up an instance of OBS. And once we do that, you're going to see that we're going to be able to add a video capture device inside of the sources. So we go ahead and add the video capture device and that's going to be our little capture card here. I'm going to go ahead and select the USB capture and that's going to capture whatever console I have sending to it. So in this demonstration, we have ourselves a, a PS4 being sent in and you can see The Last of Us kind of in the background here. Now you want to go ahead and be able to play on your second monitor. That's why you have this, uh, this thing in the first place. And it's very, very easy. All you got to do is right click on the preview monitor inside of your OBS and you want to preview that image. What is your gameplay to your other monitor? Very simple. So you just select your other monitor and just like that, it's going to send that signal right on over so you can start gaming on the right hand side. And now you can use your other monitor as maybe your chat window, maybe your music window or whatever you got going on the side. And that way you can play your game while still operating your computer on the side. So just keep in mind that uh, any capture card will work out for you guys today. But if you have any issues with this capture card or any of your capture cards, there is a quick solution that you can try out. And so if you're getting a black screen or colored bar screen or you're not getting your audio and nothing's really working and you know it was just working, uh, the best thing you can do is go ahead and close out of OBS and uh, reopen and see if that solves the issue. Now, if it doesn't solve the issue, you're going to want to go ahead and redo the entire video capture device by adding it back into the sources. So go ahead and delete it and then start again fresh. That will generally solve all the issues. And if it doesn't, uh, keep trying again or maybe try to uh, go ahead and see if your capture card needs any software or any sort of uh, thing like that. I know that some capture cards need some software. So keep in mind that yours may need some software. And if you, I generally, I don't use a software. I don't think I've ever needed to. Keep in mind that it may actually help you out to go ahead and download the software that comes with your capture card. So that's it. A nice, simple video, man, on how to connect your console to your PC, capture it, 
stream it, record it, as well as setting it to another monitor so you can game on that monitor. Very, very easy. Very cool. So that's it. That's the end of this uh, this video. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. There will be more tutorials coming up real soon. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Bye.